Hey everyone, it's John, that's me, and today on the Fat Hipster Channel, we're going to be reviewing the new Summer Wrap from Jimmy John Sandwiches. They're bringing back two Summer Wraps that I've already reviewed. You can look them up and listen to my uh, less quality uh, audio that I have when I was doing those videos, where maybe... My lips and the sound coming out of them didn't match up very well. But they still exist and you can still watch them. And the information is still true and valid. Now, those ones that came back were both the Chicken Caesar wrap and the Thai Chicken wrap. Thai Chicken wrap had a Thai satay sauce, carrots, noodles, cucumbers, onions, lettuce, mayo, and a flour tortilla wrap. The chicken Caesar wrap had chicken and Parmesan cheese with Caesar dressing, mini croutons, ranch seasoning, uh, lettuce, tomato, mayo, garlic, and herb on a garlic and herb wrap. But today I'm going to be trying the third wrap you can get. It is a new one. It's not a returning one. It is the jalapeno ranch chicken wrap. And this is all natural chicken, provolone cheese, jalapeno ranch, crispy jalapenos, Red pepper flakes, onion, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on a flour wrap. Interestingly enough, today I benefited from an error on the side of this Jimmy John's restaurant. An error which it looks like, as I was looking up my order, they've already fixed. So uh, maybe uh, me getting this caused them to figure out their error. But anyway this let me fold up this end here so not too much personal information is being shown but here on this section of the uh ticket you can see my total price was zero and above here it says salt and vinegar chips was a dollar 79 I had a loyalty rewards coupon and it gave me minus $1.79. That wasn't the way that they got cheated because I earned that loyalty rewards with points from purchases. Um, but if you look at this line here, it says jalapeno ranch chicken wrap. And where the price should be, there's nothing. Did the chips say $1.79? The wrap just has a blank space. Somehow in the programming with the website, they didn't add a price. So when I added it, I didn't even notice until I went to check out. It still said my thing was zero. Like, wait a minute, maybe I forgot to put the sandwich in. No, it is there. It's just not coming up with a price. Now, should I, as a customer, call them and say, hey, there's no price on this. Essentially, you're giving it for, uh, to me for free. You should definitely fix this so I can pay for it, right? Multi-million dollar corporation? No. If this was a mom and pop shop, that's one thing. If it's a million dollar corporation, take the free sandwich when it's given to you. And that's why this is free. But then when I came home... Because uh, I wanted to go to the website to get all the ingredients. I actually had to choose a different restaurant to look at the ingredients because at this particular place where I ordered this, the jalapeno ranch chicken wrap is no longer listed. So it seems like in order to fix it, they just removed it from the website altogether until they can sort it out and fix it. But here we go. I have it. I haven't paid for it. <clears throat> That won't affect any criticism I might have for it. But given their track record with me in particular, they probably won't have to. So you can see uh, the tomato, the lettuce, that green part right there in the middle is probably the crispy jalapenos. Um, there's chicken. There's definitely mayo. Uh, Says there's supposed to be jalapeno ranch in here. We'll we'll see as we bite into it if I taste uh, a ranch flavor. 
um, provolone cheese, yeah, I see that there. Onion, I see that there. Everything seems to be here that needs to be. Uh, I don't see the ranch, but we're going to taste it to see if it's there. It's really, it's hard to tell if that's mayo or ranch in there because they're both in there. Cheers, here we go. Oh, there's also red pepper flakes. You can see it right there. I am getting some crispiness from those crispy jalapenos. And there is some spice. I'm not sure if that's the red pepper flake or the jalapenos or the jalapeno ranch. I'm still not tasting something extremely ranchy. But I do have jalapeno flavor, but that could just be from the crispy jalapenos. I'm going to keep eating it, see if any additional flavors come out. It's really hard to tell. I don't taste anything extremely ranchy. I know that they have like that dipping zesty ranch cup you can get. And that definitely has a ranchy flavor to it. <clears throat> I don't really see anything in here sauce wise that looks like a ranch dressing. But there's definitely mayo on here. But is there ranch? I don't know. I do see some like flecks of right here. A little green fleck of seasoning that you might see in a ranch dressing. And it might be. Let's just talk about if it's ranch or if it's not, if it's just mayo. Is this is this a good wrap? Does it taste good? It definitely does. It definitely does taste good. There's definitely a jalapeno flavor to it. There's definitely a little kick of spice. It's definitely not hot, I would say. Uh, there's just like a kick of spice. At most, it's slightly warming. Uh, but definitely not hot at all. Um, I think even a small child can take a bite of this and won't. They won't spit it out because it's spicy. But kids will spit food out for any reason, really. Uh, but they won't spit it out because it's spicy. It's good. It's tasty. It is. It's not like. I wouldn't put this on a, a favorite list. I do think the other wraps, the, the Thai one was really good. The chicken season one was really good. This was probably not as good as those two, if I'm remembering my reaction to the other ones correctly. Uh, but it's good. It's not bad. If you want to. Uh, a slightly spicy jalapeno flavored chicken wrap it'll fit the bill 
And if you're lucky enough that your local Jimmy John's also had an error on their website where they weren't charging for it, you may want to get one for free as well. Anyway, with that being said, I will give it a thumbs up. Not necessarily two thumbs up, but it's a thumbs up. It's approved. It tastes good. It's just not my favorite. And that's more based on everything else that I've tried from Jimmy John's have just been really, really good lately. And this one has just been good. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.